for another video so today is what day of the week is this today is tuesday but first let me start this video off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear god help me to become your best version of me teach me how to handle my money better show me how to manage my time properly help me organize myself overall help me get my random attitudes under control so that i don't walk around bitter or just waiting for a moment to lash out alter my personalities to the way you think is best for me better me in every aspect make me one of none grant me loyalty and realness remind me to treat everyone equally with love i am made in your image i ask that your will and wisdom carry me through my greatest potential i only want to be who you want me to be in jesus name i pray amen so i pray that that prayer blesses you guys today but first i have a long day you guys and i have to add some food to the slow cooker so i'm going to share that recipe with you guys i have to attend a class later but i'll tell you guys more about it let me um get this dinner started i will share the recipe with you guys but i will have the recipe down in my description box just in case you guys want to go ahead and try it out i always have it in there and it's also in my simply yes in dinners links in my description box just in case you want to try it out that recipe or some other recipes because i have a bunch of them in there um but let's get started all right guys so the recipe i will be sharing with you is called cuban ropa vieja it's like really shredded steak like we're using flank steak this time but first i want to share with you guys my slow cooker liner these are the slow cooker liners that i use in my slow cooker i've actually been using this one for almost three weeks now so i want to thank census for sponsoring today's video y'all so i've been putting the slow cooker liners um to the test with different meals i've been making and can i tell you these are the best ones i've ever used now i've used many brands and these are nice and thick they do not rip um like with previous slow cooker liners even when you take the bag out there's some sort of like the the juice from the food that will still be left even though it would make a difference using a slow cooker liner not this one this one there's no seeping through or nothing the best one i've ever ever used another thing that sticks out to me is the packaging because most local so cooker liners they have like they're stacked on top of each other but not these this is how they come they're literally you take them out and they're like folded in in there nice and orderly oh i love that that makes a huge difference for me these are large they fit three quarts slow cookers and all the way up to eight quart this is a eight quart slow cooker and as you can see it fits quite well they are bpa free so actually the reason that these work so well is because they're made out of high tenacity nylon blend so it prevents bone punctures from the meat or leaks which makes complete sense y'all i don't even have to wipe it down that's how well they work and they're just convenient most of the time i do not like to clean a slow cooker you guys because they're big and bulky you know so that's one of my least favorite things to wash right now i love the fact that it gives you a fast and easy cleanup when you're done with your dinner so it comes with the one that i have comes with 30 pieces and the 30 piece slow cooker liners has a 20 percent off coupon already on the site so when you go on amazon and you click on the you click on the link it'll take you to the actual slow cooker liners it already has a 20 percent off coupon all you have to do is click on that and it will give you 20 percent off which by the way i'm gonna buy another box because um i really like these and i don't just like having one box i like to have a backup and they also have a 60 piece um box as well if you'd rather have a box with that comes with a lot more so that one has a 10 percent off coupon but i have a coupon for code for these 60 60 piece ones so you guys i will leave it right here so you guys could take advantage of the deal and the coupon code starts from the 9th all the way up to the 17th so i want to thank Sintas for sponsoring today's video but i really really love these slow cookers now let me share the recipe with you guys and once the recipe is done i will show you how clean my slow cooker, com slow cooker comes out all right y'all so i have about three and a half pounds of thin steak which i have is the flank steak it's almost four pounds i would have to say so i'm going to add a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce and usually at the first few hours i just pour the ingredients i don't stir and then a few hours later i'll go ahead and stir everything up but i just leave it alone for a little while and i'm going to add a quarter cup of white vinegar 
not white vinegar, white wine, white cooking wine, but I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna pour in there. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and then I'm going to add some sazon. This is the sazon that I use. They also come in packets as well. I just like to use this one. And I just sprinkle, I do not measure, but the measurements are on the recipe web on the website, so a, lot, a little bit more. I do have a lot of meat in there. So then we go also add some cumin as well. I just sprinkle, sprinkle. I kind of eye it, you know. And be like, oh, that's enough. All right. I'm also gonna add some oregano. And then I'm gonna add some garlic in here. I like to buy the minced garlic, which is already prepared. So you can use fresh, that's up to you. I'm just gonna use this one a little bit more. This one's almost finished, but I did get a backup. I have one ready. Next, we're going to add some sliced onions. I have everything prepared. So I guys well sliced one white onion. White onion is my favorite one to use. And then when it's there in season, the Georgia uh, Vidalia onions are my second favorite or become my favorite. So right now I'm adding two red bell peppers and two green bell peppers. All right. So there's that. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of sugar. Let me get a little spoon right here real quick. My sugar is back here. So I'm just gonna eye it. And no, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna taste any sweetness or anything like that. Um, we're gonna add some, a ta uh, tablespoon of tomato paste. I just pretty much eye it. I like to get the tomato paste in the two preferably because when I open a can and I, I don't like wasting the rest of it and then I'll have to get a container, you know, to put it in. I just rather have the two. I'm also gonna add one cup of water. This is a little bit over a cup, but I do have a little bit over three pounds in here. So I'm going to add also as well some olives. Fun fact, I do not like olives, but I do like cooking with olives because it does add some great flavor. My mom cooks with olives as well. She eats it, my boys eat it as well, but um, Destiny does not like it. And I do not like it either, but I do like the flavor of olives. Let me add a little bit of the juice. And it's used a lot in a lot of Mediterranean and Latin um, recipes. And then we're gonna add some salt and pepper. I'm just adding some with a little measuring spoon, but I'm not really measuring. I used kosher salt. And then I'm going to add some pepper. That's good. All right, and then what we're gonna do, we're just gonna cover. If you're wondering what this, who, um, this, where's this slow cooker from? It's from the Drew Barrymore line. It's their air, acorn, and I love it. We're gonna add two bay leaves in here. That's it, now we're done. <laughs> I do this all the time. All right, y'all, so it's a few hours later. I had the meat cooking on high. I put it on high before I left the house, and it is ready. It looks so good. I have the rice cooking right now in my little rice cooker, but I didn't have to shred the meat up or anything because it was nice and tender. I did it on its own, pretty much, and then I also made a salad. I tried to fix a big salad at least once or twice a week, and usually this will give us enough for the next day, so either John will take some to work or the kids will take some to school. As All well. right, y'all, so we just finished having dinner and I'm about to clean this kitchen, but I wanna show you how clean the slow cooker is after using the liner. So I got you guys closer so you can see better, but you see, slow cooker nice and clean, y'all. I Usually there's some sort of juice left even when I take it out or and then normally the bag is always leaking but now with these y'all I could do like this nothing comes out look at that oh I'm just so fascinated but this is literally clean only thing I have to wash is the top and that's it I will have the coupon code and the link to the liners 
down in my description box just in case you guys want to go ahead and check it out which I recommend because these are the bomb all right y'all so I'm back in my office with my little drink and drink of water um so I was telling you guys today I am going to a nutrition class the class is like four hours long but it's for a reason so with my doctor's advice and we've been going back and forth I'm getting I, I don't know why I'm so nervous to tell you guys but I'm getting the gastric sleeve so I am having bariatric surgery not right now there's a process like you have to go to classes and it's intense you don't just go ahead and be like okay I'm gonna have the surgery you have to change the way you're eating which I have already started exercise show some change you have to see a therapist there's so many things that you have to do before you even get the surgery I've been actually thinking about it for a while but what made me decide um, to go ahead and get the surgery my mom had the surgery first so she had the surgery at the beginning of the year now y'all see my mama she looks wonderful she looks great not to mention before she had the surgery my mom had a lot of health ailments like she was pretty sick and she could barely move and always in pain um unfortunately it's like this family thing all of us like suffer from arthritis osteoporosis and things like that so anyway my mom had a lot of ailments and she was just in constant pain well she got the she got the surgery done and she's feeling better than ever she looks wonderful and she just feels good she feels good all of her ailments are all gone pretty much she said i'm i'm feeling fine i don't feel anything and she just she's full of energy <laughs> so like seeing her be so well my mom is 61 years old and she is doing amazing i'm like dang my mom has more energy than i do you know and that was kind of like the deciding factor for me to go ahead and get the surgery myself now this is something I've prayed about I've talked to God about is this something that I need to do because you want to go to him first before you make any sort of decision because that might not be the route that you need to go to through but this is something God and I have and he told me that this is this is it for me now I could have had this done years ago but I was not ready yet now I am so um I have to take these nutrition classes and stuff like that I wanted to let you guys know that this is the journey I'm getting ready to go on now I'm excited I don't know why I'm getting emotional I'm excited but I'm also a little slightly nervous um but I was going back and forth with kind of actually letting you guys know because so so many of you are so supportive and you just never know who you can help maybe some of you did have the surgery uh, maybe some of you are thinking about it or but the thing is when you, once you do share you'll get the positive but you'll also get the negatives with anything new that you get you will hear about something negative that comes along with it um, when I got my car I, it was a many that said that the car may have some because it's a U European car it might be harder to fix and I'm like, I already got the car what, what can I do now you know or the washing machine they're saying the Samsung's are not the best but so far I'm loving the washing machine I pray that she does she treats me well um so with anything there will always be somebody in their mom and their cousin that it, it didn't go well for them but my mind is like this like focus tunnel vision I do want to share with you guys you know when it comes to stuff like that I would love to share with y'all and be um, transparent I've prayed about it and this is something I'm gonna do so the next few months my like I was telling you guys I have appointments and things coming up and just so many changes I'm so excited I'm just like god this is really happening <laughs> This is really happening, but I didn't know how I would tell you guys. Should, I didn't want to wait and tell y'all to after I got the surgery. And like you, you guys will definitely see a change. So there's no point in keeping it away from y'all. Um, but you get what I'm saying. So uh, yeah, this has been a pr process of years. Like this has taken years of constantly being on a weight loss journey. Years and years and years. Um, and be having PCOS and stuff like that has made it so much harder 
for me but I'm excited I have already started with healthier habits once I got back because I kind of went free willy this whole summer but um I'm excited y'all I am so excited but I wanted to let you guys know today is my first class um so if you guys would like to see the process of you know what type of classes you have to take and stuff now I don't know if it's the same for everyone um I know with different insurances that require different things so I don't know if it's the same but all I could do is share my what I got going on but let me know if you would like to see that or know about that kind of stuff but uh, I'm excited I am happy um slightly nervous but I'm gonna give it I'm gonna leave it all in God's hands and let him take over you know so you guys by the end of the night I was pretty much exhausted I had went to my class it was <laughs> For four hours long and Lord had mercy I was tired but one thing that I brought back I kind of let loose in the summertime is family dinners we always ate dinner together as a family we did it throughout the summer but not as often because in the summer everything was loose we ate whoever was hungry would ate and then everyone else disappeared you know but now that we're trying to get back into a routine we every time we eat dinner at night we Everyone is pretty much gone except for me and we just sit together and talk about our day and eat dinner together and I look forward to that. I think it's so important, especially for your kids. Um, so we incorporate that. But once, you know, everything is done, we I like to go ahead and tackle the kitchen, y'all, because once I, I'm done, I'm done. I don't want to come back in there or whatever. But recently we found out that my middle child David he's on the spectrum for autism now he's 13 we just finding this out now I wish we had found this out sooner now when I brought this to the doctor when he was younger she didn't think it was something that he was struggling with because he's very smart not just smart but he's like really genius smart you know he has a really high IQ so he wasn't struggling with school with grades or anything like that but um recently like I, I could just tell like you know as a mother you know or father whatever you could tell something is different about your child and sure enough um he is on the spectrum for autism now he does not struggle with school he's very adamant about school he likes to be there on time he is he does not like to miss things you know so um in a way, when the doctor told me that, I felt like this relief in my heart. Sorry, y'all, but we're getting emotional. I think it's, it's I'm getting close to that time of the month. <laughs> but I felt like this relief in my heart because I knew and it answered questions um, that I had. Pretty much doesn't change anything, but it, it makes sense. You know, like I know how to treat him and how he's feeling because um, he's... My, he's the type that I felt like didn't the child that didn't need me and pretty much is raising himself. He does everything for himself. He's more of like a loner and pretty much does not need me. <laughs> if I teach him something one time, he gets it and then that's it. He doesn't need me anymore. So um, I'm going through a lot now. It's a lot of changes that's happening. I just wanted to share that with you guys if you've ever been through that as well. But oh, it's been a lot, y'all. <laughs> Drown out the rain, but will it make sense? 
to head off so I want to go thrifting to see if I can find if they've started putting out anything that would work well for fall but sometimes it never works out so I'm gonna go in there with an open mind maybe I will find something because you just never know and maybe stop by TJ Maxx I think I'm gonna stop by TJ Maxx first and see what they have Ross is right next door so why not pop my head in you know so it's a day that I'm by myself. I don't have to cook today. I have leftovers, so I don't have to come home to cook. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm just, I'm a slightly exhausted today because I feel like I'm mentally exhausted. That or It was an orientation yesterday. My nutrition class won't be till September, but um, I thought it was gonna be my nutrition class. It wasn't. It was kind of, because we did have an hour of nutrition, um, but it was more like orientation. It was four hours. So, so much information that I received yesterday that my mind is like overloaded with it, you know? Drinking a Celsius. Some people like it, some people don't. I actually like it, but I don't drink it every day. I've been drinking it like maybe once a week. I've cut back because I used to drink it every day. Not anymore, but um, let me go get my purse and let's head out the house. Oh, I made it to TJ Maxx, you guys, but I'm, look what I'm finding here. This is the Color Scrub Daddy. I never seen Scrub Daddy at um, TJ Maxx, so that's not bad for a dollar ninety nine. But I did find some things, so I got this for my car and for my husband's car if he wants to use it, so we could wipe it down. And then I need to replace some of my some of my microfiber cloth, so I got some pink ones this time. These are what six ninety nine. I always check this section first. They also got some washing machine cleaner. I've never seen this one before. How much is this? $4.99. How many does it come in here though? Three. Okay, that's not bad. I don't need it though. I was hoping I could find some more of that um, linen spray, but I don't see it anymore. They got some of the pink stuff in here, which they always do now. $4.79 in here. I need a runner, uh, like a fall runner for my table in the kitchen, but this, the colors for this, I don't think, and it has sunflowers. It doesn't go with what I have, but this one matches a little bit better. Let me see. Because I'm still going to use a lot of the same fall decor I've been having. I just wanted to add some newer pieces. I like this one. Yeah, $14.99 for this one. Let me see if they have any other styles. Mm, they have this one with the leaves. I think, let me see. I really like this one. Yeah, I do. So I'm, in the, I'm on the hunt to try to find some home decor for my office. I really don't have anything in for in there, so. But they like slowly putting out fall decor, but there's not much out there yet. Oh y'all, I love Hocus Pocus. Look at this. Is this a cookbook? Let me see. So it's a cookbook, you guys. So it has a bunch of recipes in here, but it's $20, $20. Am I going to cook out of it? Nope. But it's cute. Yeah, I remember when they had the white and gold tongs a few months back and I didn't get it. Yeah, I should have got it because the ones I have at home, they broke. And they don't have it again. So I'm just looking. I don't want these because these are too big. I just needed the gold and white tongs. shop like this there's like stuff everywhere it's pretty empty but at the same time it's like a hot mess hey y'all so I just got out of TJ Maxx and Ross and they hardly film at all in Ross it's a hot mess in there I feel like ever since 
COVID, like um, this door has not, like Ross has not recovered because this one used to be, I used to find some good stuff here and it used to be just jam packed with stuff, you know? It used to be good. I used to find some good house stuff and I did find a baking pan, uh, a 13 by nine and a Barbie t-shirt for Destiny. That's all I found in there at the Ross. But so many things were thrown everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Um, and even in the house section, it was like pretty bare. It was hardly nothing in there. Do I turn this way? Yeah. Luckily, the Goodwill is down the street. But um, yeah, I'm hardly going to Ross no more. Destiny likes to wear like these graphic t-shirts. She loves Hello Kitty. She loves Lilo and Stitch. Like she wears pretty much every day those kind of t-shirts. So usually if I were to find it, I check Ross and I go to other, well, there's no other Ross. Well, yeah, there is another Ross around here. Dang it, I went to the, to the wrong side. Let's go back around. Um, I, I'll find like her graphic t-shirts from there. Like the Disney ones that she likes to wear and Hello Kitty and stuff like that. But it was hardly nothing. And TJ Maxx had some fall stuff. That I feel like they had more Halloween than they did anything else. And um, yeah, they didn't really have that much fall decor in there. But they just starting to um, get stuff out. And now I, when I watch other people's YouTube videos, their store is full, like full of stuff. Nine hours. They're just moving stuff out, which I understand because the, the weeks prior, they had a lot of back to school stuff. Now that all the kids pretty much started school here, um, they're moving like the lunch boxes and stuff out the way or whatever they have left. And uh, they starting to come out with their stuff. I feel like they have more Halloween than anything. Keep going, you don't come out through here. Now, I'm hoping to find something at the Goodwill. Hoping so. Fingers crossed. But even the Goodwill moves pretty slow with fall stuff. By the time they come out with fall stuff, y'all, I already decorated. I'm not planning on decorate, decorating this month. Hopefully by the first week of September. Normally, I'm, I'm done by August, but I just don't feel like it. I'm, I'm ready, but not ready. I hope that makes sense. Um, the first week of August, I should have decorated. I'm using most of the stuff that I already have. I just remember in my mind the things that I don't have or would like to change because a lot of the home decor, I would have to say I started decorating for fall. It's not something that I did before, but I started decorating for fall about four years ago. And uh, I'm, I love it. The kids love it when I decorate for the seasons and stuff or holidays, but I've had a lot of those decors for many years. So I am um, ready for some change, but I'm still using a lot of the stuff that I have. Thrifting is the way to go though, if you find something. And some thrift stores are good. I like to go to the thrift stores in a better, in like the nice neighborhoods. That's how you get a lot of the nice stuff. Oh, come on. It's like that people see you getting ready to park somewhere. They're like, oh, let me take it before she comes. I'm sorry. I'm good.
back home now. Um, I can only be out for so long because after a while I'm ready to come back home. It's a lot of people interaction for me. I love being home. I'm a homebody. But um, I'm going to start off with the stuff I found at Goodwill. I, found, I feel like I was successful. I didn't find any fall items. But like um the first thing i found was this pillow now this pillow i'm gonna my it was only three dollars and 63 cents um my plan is to take the pillow car cover off and use the feather down i love feather down pillows because you can fluff it up i put it in the dryer to fluff it back up but you can like mold it you know so when i kind of do the little test see and these are not cheap. You can get them on Amazon. If you want to decorate, it's always better to do feather down pillows and then just buy pillow covers. It's a lot cheaper that way than actually buying a bunch of pillows and you can't even change out the cover or wash it or anything. But for $3, I don't think it's bad at all. So this is how I like to find the pillows, preferably from the thrift store. So I'm gonna put that in the dryer and also spray it down with some disinfectant as well. But they had a bunch of these and I only grabbed three because that's all I needed. They had a bunch of OXO containers. They had a lot of them, but I feel like if I were to get, I don't need all of them. I didn't need all the sizes. I just grabbed the sizes that I needed. So the big one that I grabbed was $5. I'm gonna wash it, of course. And I have these in my cart, but I have not bought them because of the price. These are really good containers. They're worth the price. This is $5.05. .05. That's the tall one then like I got like a medium size one this was five dollars also just like the tall one they had a lot of them they also had a lot of the the small ones but I didn't need that so I got that one and then I grabbed these now my plan is to put the the kids little uh, drink powders that I've been getting for them and I'm gonna put them in here yep so I got that and last but not least from the thrift store I got some uh, a cake decorating stand I had this also in my Amazon cart but a silver stainless steel one but the price is what kept me from buying it like I was waiting for a while but look when you become patient you just never know what you find everything I'm looking for or having my cart, I always end up finding it so when you decorate you can turn it around y'all this makes me so happy a lot of my baking stuff i get from the thrift store so that was five dollars and five cents um i noticed with the goodwill it'll, it'll be like if something's like three dollars it'll be like three dollars and three cents okay so that's everything i got from the thrift store and then from tj maxx i didn't get a lot of things i did buy some top buy some tongs the size that i needed they're in black but it does the job I should have got the white and gold ones when I did see it. But this was $3.99. The size that I had was, it was like a cream color and it was white and it was already done. And I had that one for a long time, but that one broke. So I needed some more of this size. I got some kitchen towels for fall. Isn't that nice? For fall, I like to add some color into the kitchen because you know the kitchen's really white. So um, I like to add some colors in there and this was $9.99 so it comes with this towel and then these right here and it's another one that comes with this leaf one in the back don't know what I'm gonna do with that one but it goes with the stuff and then I got, finally found a table runner that goes with the colors that I have and it's this one and this was $14.99 I really like it works really well is what I'm going for I want to decorate my office for fall I did it very minimally last year I used what I had left and it wasn't much um, last year but this year I do want to put some effort into my office because I love my office uh, and I got this I think for my office I don't know yet but this is $14.99 and I think I like when the branches like stick out instead of straight up you know like that so it might be in my office, it might not, we'll see. But I do want to decorate my office this year. And some microfiber cloths for cleaning. I got some pink ones this time. And this was $6.99 because I do need to replace them. They are really stained, you know, and look really dingy even after washing. And then some car wipes, that's it. 
So that's everything I got from TJ Maxx. I think that's more than enough. And then from Ross, I only got two items and that's the <laughs> Barbie t-shirt I was telling you guys about. I got this one for Destiny. She likes to wear like graphic tech t-shirts. This is the back. And this was $8.99. And then I got a baking pan. And this was $5.99, which I thought was a good deal because even I went to the Goodwill and I found a pan that was gold, but the exact same size and style. And that was $7, $7 almost $8 at the Goodwill. And this was only $5.99 at Ross. So I got that, you know, baking season is coming. I haven't hardly been baking in the summertime because y'all, in the summer I don't hardly bake because it's hot. <laughs> So soon I will start my baking up again. I think this week, normally when the kids are back to school, I normally bake on Fridays, sometimes more than that. But I usually like to save some sort of sweet treat for the kids every Friday when they come home. So I probably will be doing that this weekend. So I, that's this is everything that I got. So I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, I'm kind of nervous to post this video. I don't know why. <laughs> but I know you guys will, send me nothing but positive vibes so i'm looking forward to reading the comments look out for my next videos you guys and i will see you all on the next one bye y'all